CARE 11 investigation finds there was a sharp decline in what Minnesota and the rest of the country spent on public health programs in the years leading up to the coronavirus crisis. That weakened the nation's first line of defense against disease when we needed it the most. A surge of cases, more than 23,000 in three days. Arizona is also breaking records with more than 3,800 new cases reported Sunday and hospitals inundated. With COVID-19 cases still soaring nationwide, new information reveals serious shortcomings in the nation's public health preparedness. Nationwide since 2010, government spending on public health programs fell 16%. Minnesota fared a little better, but still dropped nearly 9% through 2018, the latest data available. That's according to an analysis by CARE 11, Kaiser Health News, and the Associated Press. Was public health understaffed before COVID? Public health definitely is understaffed in certain critical areas. State Health Commissioner Jan Malcolm says local health departments were already stretched thin even before America faced its worst public health crisis in a century. Many, many local public health departments are really thinly staffed and you've got one staff person doing three or four jobs. Depending on the location, public health departments handle issues ranging from food safety to immunizations, from nursing home inspections to air quality, and of course, disease tracking. But records show funding didn't even keep up with inflation. Well, it is very concerning to see that both nationally and at the state level, we're actually spending less per capita on public health today than we were uh, in 2010. This 2019 report to the legislature long before the pandemic said the majority of Minnesota's local public health departments reported they could not carry out several core activities. If not for budget cuts, experts think we might have been able to catch COVID sooner and save lives. I think um, we would have been more quickly able to um, identify hot spots where, where the epidemic was growing more quickly and to be able to intervene more quickly. Now we have much more about this issue, including information about the local public health agencies that suffered the biggest cuts. Check out our story online at care11.com.